Welcome to part 5 of Esri Canada's Address Manager instructional video series. In this session, we'll look at how to create or edit road segments and how to create emergency services boundaries. To create a road segment, we select the Road Editing tool, the Add Features tool. In this example, we're going to snap to the end of this road and draw our line. We're happy with that, hit escape. We then need to pick a road name body. And in this case, we'll use the extent because the road we are creating here is actually an extension of Aztec Court. We'll select Aztec Court. We can also add in a number of other parameters such as the address range numbers and the direction of the road as well as the speed limit. When all of the attributes have been set, we select save and the feature is input to the database. To edit a road, we use the Select an Existing Feature tool and select the road we want to edit. In the Attribute panel, we can change any of the parameters that are listed, such as the address range or the direction of road. This is especially useful if a two-way road becomes a one-way road. No matter what kind of boundary you are creating, they're all done the same way. For this example, we'll create an EMS boundary. We select the Add Features tool, then on the map, we input the points where we want the EMS boundary to be, in this case, the intersections of these roads. When that's completed, we can add attributes such as the agency ID, and we can enter a display name. So on the labels, we can also add in service URI or service URN and the end grid. When all of the attributes have been entered, we select Save, and the completed EMS polygon is displayed. You can also select an existing feature. All of the attributes are displayed, and you can change any of the attributes. You can also update the status of any area by selecting the Update Status tool. Select the area, and at the bottom of the screen below the map display, you can see the current status. You can now change that status and activate it. And now that EMS boundary is active. Up next is part six, the basics of how to use the configurator application.